When you're out sampling for E. coli, if the water is turbid and brown from sediment, you'll need to perform an E. coli dilution. While you're in the field, that just means collecting an extra 100 milliliter bottle of sample. Use the same standard process as described in the Collecting Water Quality Samples video in your online volunteer toolkit. When you're back at the lab, you'll need the following. Two full 100 milliliter E. coli samples, two empty new 100 milliliter sampling bottles, deionized water, two pipettes with bulbs or rollers, 10 milliliters and one milliliter, E. coli media, gloves, and a marker. Take one of your filled sample bottles, add the E. coli media, agitate to dissolve it, and begin processing it as normal using the same standard process as described in the video Collecting and Processing Water Samples for E. coli in your online volunteer toolkit. With the second sample, use the 10 milliliter pipette to put 10 milliliters of the sample into one of the empty bottles. Using the deionized water, fill that bottle to 100 milliliters. Label that bottle 10 milliliter dilution. On your data form, this is the 1 to 10 dilution. From the same second sample, use the 1 milliliter pipette to put 1 milliliter of the sample into another empty bottle. Fill this bottle to 100 with deionized water and label it 1 milliliter dilution. On your data form, this is the 1 to 100 dilution. On your data form, circle the dilutions used. Here, we'll circle all three since we have a full sample for each one. The first regular sample will be recorded here under Regular. For the 1 to 10 dilution, cross out the title of the second row and write 1 to 10 to record that data there. You can also cross out the title of the third row and write 1 to 100 to record that data in that row. After the incubation period, following the steps from collecting and processing water samples for E. coli, record the number of large cells and small cells for each sample, and use the MPN calculator from the Volunteer Handbook's Appendix C to determine the number to record for regular. For the 1 to 10 row, multiply its MPN table number by 10, and for the 1 to 100 row, Multiply the MPN number by 100. Thank you for gathering valuable data to help protect public health and the environment.